Hi everyone, hopefully okay. So today I'm going to do a collective haul video. Um, this is probably stuff from like over the past um, three, four weeks maybe. So um, yeah, I'm just going to do get straight onto it. So basically, going to start off with what I'm wearing. I bought this oversized, I think it's called oversized roll t-shirt from Topshop. It was sixteen pound, but um, I got ten percent off because um, it's a concession where I work. So that means that I get a staff discount. And I really like the colour. It's like this burgundy berry colour, and I saw it. On Caroline Flack, she was wearing it on Celebrity Juice a few weeks ago, and as soon as I saw it, I was like, I really, really wanted it. So I went and got it. It's um, quite a manly fit. It is oversized, but I really like it. It's really nice quality. It's probably a little bit more than what I'd normally pay for a t-shirt, but I really, really liked it, and I just really like the colour. So I just pair it with um, this necklace, which is also new. This is from Forever 21, and I really wanted some more statement necklaces because I think they look really good with like really plain t-shirts. Um, I think this is something like seven, eight pound fifty, which is just a bit of a bargain. So yeah, that's from Forever Twenty One, and I just really like pairing them together. This looks really good, like jeans, um, and then you can dress it up to like shorts and skirts, and put a blazer over the top. So really, really like this, and I'm kind of having to resist buying them all in different colours, but I have gone and bought it in another colour. So I went yesterday to Topshop on my lunch break and I went and picked up the white version because I have a thing with white t-shirts so this is what it looks like here um yeah it's really really nice quality and I just thought that it will look really good with like this necklace and like I've got like a gold collar necklace too but yeah I really really like them I want to get the black one too but I couldn't find it in store which was a little bit annoying oh actually um yeah I was going to say this at the beginning of the video but I forgot um, I've got some news, I have a new job which is really exciting. I used to work in retail so um, I was just like a sales advisor but I'm now a personal shopper which I'm really, really looking forward to starting because I've always wanted to be a personal shopper and you all should know that I just love shopping, it's not my favourite pastime so being able to shop for other people I'm really looking forward to and it also means I don't have to wear a stupid uniform anymore, I can wear my own clothes. So that's why I'm kind of thinking about all the stuff that I'm buying, I'm like oh can I wear that to work or not? So I get a uniform allowance. Um, which is pretty cool. So I've been going around where I work, like I up all the stuff that I want for my uniform. Um, but yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And I start my new job next week, and my first task is going to be like basically help arrange and styling a fashion show that we're doing in the store at the end of the month. So that should be really cool. So I'm looking forward to doing that, and then I'll start my like per proper personal shopper duties after that. Um, but yeah, I've got a training day tomorrow, which I'm kind of scared about. But it should be good. I'm looking forward to just getting on with it and I think it's going to be a bit more challenging than what I'm doing now because um, I was getting a little bit bored at my job like um, I just felt like I needed something a little bit more that I could really like get my teeth into so this should be really really good so I'm really really excited about starting that so um, yeah I'm sure I will tell you more about it as time goes on but yeah again I can't really say the shop that I work for because it's not very professional I think to say it on the internet so um, yeah I'll just leave it at that but um, yeah I'm really really excited so Gonna move on, so now it's going to go on to the Primark bit. Nice big bag that I've got. Um, I came home, my boyfriend was like, What have you been buying? And I was like, I haven't honestly bought that much. And he was like, Cory, they don't give you big bags like that for no reason. So um, I'll start with my favourite item. If you follow me on Twitter or you read my blog or Instagram, you already know about this item, but I felt like I couldn't not include it in this video and I've been meaning to get this video sooner but I've just had no time whatsoever. I've been really really busy working and I've moved from doing like part time to basically full time like I used to do shifts like 2 till 6 or 12 till 4 so it meant that I had some time in the morning or in the afternoon to make videos and stuff but now I'm working like 9 till 6 every day it means that I don't have a lot of time and obviously now that I'm coming home at 6 it's pitch black so I've had literally no time to um make a video so apologies but yesterday I went to Primark they still had these onesies so hopefully they should still be in stock and it's a Minnie Mouse onesie when I saw it I just had to get it because I love Disney I've been like I've always been a Disney fan but I feel like it's kind of intensified ever since I went to Disney World in July and I just want to go back so so badly so I picked this up it's got like Minnie on the hood which I thought was the coolest thing ever and then yeah it's like just spotty and then, like you've got like grips on your feet and you have a tail. I didn't realise I had a tail until I'd worn it like for two days and I was like, oh, it's got a tail. So um yeah. I don't like the tail, I think it's a bit freaky. 
but um yeah it's really cool it's really warm it's really snuggly and it's really really cute like i know it's not to everyone's taste it is a bit tacky but whatever i just like sitting at home and like i get home from work pop this on and put my head up and just snuggle up like i will just like watching the x fact and i was just sort of snuggled up it's just um yeah perfect for autumn and winter evening so if you're a fan of disney like i am then i definitely recommend going and picking this up i'm pretty sure i'm going to film a video in this like one of these days because it's just so comfy they've got loads of really really cool onesies at the moment there were so many that i could have picked up i think it was 14 pound by the way um but yeah they're really cheap and if you want one get one now because when it comes to the really cold winter months you won't be able to get one i promise and um yeah same everyone picks them up for christmas presents so start your christmas shopping early also i bought something else that i thought would be nice and snuggly i bought these amazing hmm, uh, like fluffy pajama bottoms i just love them because they've got like this really cool floral print and they're like elasticated at the bottom i bought a pair of these like last year they were quite um like snowflake and i wore them loads so i thought i'd just get a new pair and i just love the pink ribbon and the pink flowers see so, yeah, i got those just for whoop, I've got those for just snuggling too so I thought they would be cool and then I also just picked up some tights because Primark do the best tights ever they're £2.50 I got the 100 Dernier to really, really opaque tights because I don't like tights that you can like see your legs it's a bit weird but that's just me so yeah I picked these up I really want to get the super cozy tights but the only ones I could find were the footless ones so I wanted the proper ones so I will be getting some of them soon. But um, yeah, Primark is amazing for tights. Every year I chuck all my tights out and get new tights because I just find they can get a bit manky and bobbly quite quickly. So that's just what I tend to do. So as I mentioned, I got this necklace from Forever 21. I did do a bit of a Forever 21 shop. I have to say that I really like Forever 21. Like online, there's not a store near to me. But um, I find that they do really nice pieces. They do really nice blouses and they're only like £16. So um, it's really, really cheap. So I'll show you what I picked up. First of all picked up this blouse and I just loved it, I just thought it was really cute, it's got like this little collar, um, yeah and it's like kind of full length but not quite and it's got the same on the sleeves too so I thought that was really really cute and I thought that it will look nice for loads of different things like jeans or um, shirts and shorts and stuff like that so yeah I, that was 19, 16.75 so I don't think that was too bad at all actually for a blouse um but yeah i really like like the contrast buttons and it, it's just basically up my street so yeah i really really like that i went on forever 21 last night and there's loads of blouses that i want so i'm gonna have to restrain myself from making another order and then i also picked up this jumper because it's amazing I just do this. so this is what it looks like it's just a black, really soft jumper. It's quite light, so it's not going to be like you'll put it on and you'll get like really sweaty when you get inside. And it's got like this black Peter Pan collar, which is detachable, which I really like because obviously you can put it on different tops and stuff. So yeah, it's a black Peter Pan collar jumper. I absolutely love it. It just looks good with so many different things. And that was £12.50. How crazy is that? £12.50. That is an absolute bargain. So yeah, I absolutely love that and I just thought it would be perfect for winter because I was looking for a jumper with like a collar but all the ones that I've seen were like from Topshop and they were just stupidly expensive so that one was a really, really good buy and I thought it was very Caroline Flack E inspired. You all know it is like my style icon. Um, I also got some socks because I picked up some socks. Oh, I bought two pairs of tights. Um, yeah, I picked up some black socks for work whilst I was in Primark they were again a bit of a bargain then finally moving on to my beauty buys i've been spending a lot of time in places like boots on my lunch break because i just feel like getting out of work i don't want to sit in like the cafeteria or whatever i just tend to go and have a mooch but a mooch always ends up to me spending some money and i made an online order from the body shop because they had this really good offer on free delivery and i think it was 35 percent off which meant that everything was like super cheap so I needed a new vitamin E face mist which I absolutely love I use this as like a makeup setter and I feel that it makes my makeup last a lot longer I've been using this for years I've never tried anything else but I don't really feel the need to I think it's about £8 so with the 35% off it made it a bit cheaper 
And then because I didn't want to just buy that on its own, I also got the Coconut Body Mist, which is this, and it smells amazing. I love anything that's mm, coconut scented, and the coconut stuff from the body shop is my favourite. So I got this, and this is £7.50, but for the two of them, it worked out at £10, which I thought was like a bargain. Um, but yeah, oh, just swallowed some. It's a really nice body spray. It's not too in your face, but it smells lovely. It smells just like coconut, and yeah, I love wearing this. Whenever I wear it, people always say, oh, you smell nice. So, yeah, I love them. They've got loads and loads of different flavours. So, if, like, coconut's not up your street. There's loads of different ones, but it's always worth keeping an eye on the body shop because um, they always have loads of, like, crazy online offers, and um, I always try to shop online so the in-store because you get um, a lot more offers. <coughs> So like I said, I have been spending quite a lot of time in Boots lately and they've recently, it has finished now, they had the free for two look on basically everything. So that meant that I just went a bit crazy. Um, I bought like set, like basics, so I just thought I'd show you like these things. I went a bit crazy on nail varnish, especially when I found out that I got my personal shopper job. I went straight to Boots and thought, right, I'm going to treat myself. But I've been using that motto ever since. So um, there's currently a top a place that I want on Topshop, but... Um, I'm like, can I justify spending like 40 odd quid on the play suit? And I'm like, yes, Corey, it's your new job. Um, so yeah, I got these nail varnishes. I got these two from Models Own. They're from the Wonderland collection and they're so cute. This is Northern and Southern Lights. And it's basically like, this is like lilac based. This is baby pink. And they have like a holographic glitter. I have got it on my nails right now. I don't know if you can see, I may need to paint my nails. But they're just the most gorgeous glitter ever and I absolutely love them. I also picked up a couple from the Mirable collection which are really cool but they're a bit more of a chunkier glitter. And then I picked up a new Essie Polis and this is from their Autumn range and this is Miss Fancy Pants. It's just a nude grey colour. I have it on right now. I'm really into like my nudes at the moment and I just thought this would be a really nice colour and I thought it would look nice and professional. So I've got that. So that's really really nice too. Um, and then finally, I finally picked up the Dr. Drew Art BB Cream because there's been so much hype about this and I, I don't know, I just fancy getting it. I'm kind of into the whole low coverage, dewy con um, concealer foundation look. So I thought I'd get it because it sounded right up my street. I, um, I bought it with my Advantage card points from Boots because I had about £25 on there. So I bought um, it fit with this. So yeah, that's what I've got. I've used it a few times. I'm not sure... You know, it's it's okay. I think I need like a little while to get used to it. The colour's like one shade fits all, so I think it's a little bit too pale for my skin because I feel like I'm a bit pale today. Um, oh yeah, and then finally, um, this is another thing that I treat myself to. I was in Tesco and I saw this for £7 and I just thought I have to get it. It's the Cheryl Autobiography. You all know that I love Cheryl Cole, so um it was invertible that i was going to buy her autobiography i was going to wait till christmas but then when i saw it for seven quid i thought now nah, i'll get it but yeah i really like it so far i've got i think i'm about halfway through yeah i must be over halfway through so um i thought i've got to the part where she's just started doing x factor but it's really interesting like if you're a fan of cheryl then definitely go get it because it's just really interesting seeing like how she grew up and um like her relationship with ashley and stuff it kind of makes you understand the situation a little bit more like why she stayed with him like when he first cheated on her and stuff but yeah and there's some really gorgeous pictures i love this picture at the back her makeup is amazing so i might have a prep this and maybe do like a makeup tutorial on it because i think it's just stunning so yeah i bought that um so yeah that's like my little collective haul i do i really want to go spend some more money but um yeah that's a bit naughty so i'm not going to so yeah um i'm gonna head off now i hope you're all good and i'll see you soon bye